What is up, guys? This is Master Gaming here along with my friend Bullseye 7343. Say what's up, Bullseye. Hello, YouTube. And today we're going to show you the Lancer, Nasher versus Retro and Sawed Off. I know there's been a lot of people out there who are saying that, you know, the Retro sucks and stuff like that. Well, we got our Nasher and Sawed Off X, not Nasher, our freaking Retro and Sawed Off expert here today because that's all he uses in other other any match so uh you know give me the good <laughs> detail about the retro and the sawed off all right so the sawed off basically you only get one shot it's pretty much like the long shot but you have to get up close and personal it's only really good when you use an active otherwise you can pretty much just grab someone and shoot in the face now retro it works pretty well. You just need an accurate. And downside, no chainsaw. Upside, you can run up to someone and melee them pretty well and just shoot them. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're gonna do a full detail, you know, game through of how these two forces work. So our idea was run, get ten, we get a five second head start, and then we battle it out. <laughs> Oh, I Okay, ready. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that one. He sees Sam says she's ready for it. Oh, Sam. Perfect example, Nasher wins. Not very. <laughs> <laughs> Notice that it's not very accurate. <laughs> yes, and pay attention to that, people. If you really want to win the fight, you have to pretty much have the very first heads up, especially when it comes to that retro <laughs> or something like that. All right, we'll uh, switch to your uh, freaking sawed off and we'll show them how that whole tactic works with that. So say right. I'm running around, I'm looking for my next target, and I don't see nothing. The next thing you know, out of nowhere, boom. And then they can pretty much, okay, run, run. Like, you can pretty much run and reload. Now, in such cases, you really want to not get caught in the crossfire with picking people with not, with not Nashers, with Sawed Off. So, we're going to show the Nasher versus the Sawed Off. It like, calls attention. All right, dude, let's do it. See, I'm more brain. He only has one shot, then after that he runs. Yes! Give me a time to active and do that. Alright, dude, pick it up, pick this up, up, do it again. Like I said before, no range. I have range. He doesn't. But, but in some cases, you can mess up. Like, See how he missed the shot? You can mess up and you get close. But in some cases, you can mess up. So say if I'm trying to shoot at him, he's dodging me like crazy. Next thing you know, boom. Wait, you want to be forever vigilant when it comes to sawed off. People are like little freaking, what's the word I'm looking for? Like little freaking raccoons when it comes to that crap. So, you know, watch it. Seriously, though, know, like people, they, they piss me off when you this crap. But basically don't let them give you a virtual hug. Yeah, and, yeah, basically don't let them give you a virtual hug. Or else they will kill you and splatter you half the car floor. Now, in terms of the Lancer going against a sawed off, you got a better advantage. But like I said, if they're dodging. Well, that's an obvious advantage. Alright, just dodge around. If they're dodging around, it's hard to hit them. You know, but if they run at you in a straight line, then you can pretty much walk them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not go well. <laughs> in his case, it didn't go well. So, in other words, use the Lancer. The Lancer has the technique which I heard before called the bottomless clip technique. And the way that since the Lancer has a 
big forever clip. Use this to your advantage. Hit them active and take them down. But in most cases, since if you're going up against a wall bouncer or some of that caliber, it can be pretty hard to hit them. But it just if you want to cancel that whole effect out, yep. Like my friend gets some, which is a wall bouncing geek. But if you really want to dodge that, you can try to take your chances with the Nasher. I wouldn't always say that's the best, because sometimes that thing will have a ridiculous hit ratio. I just dodge the foot right into the air. And I just got the headshot. Oh, yeah, Keyword, never do that. Because usually, since he retro charged me, I shouldn't have been actually dead because of that. Because retro usually beats out the net, uh, the Nasher shotgun. But in such ways, I got lucky. Virtual lag saved his life. <laughs> yeah, virtual lag pretty much saved my life in his sense. And, you know, <coughs> you just got to be lucky. You know, if you're extremely lucky, you know, yeah, go ahead for it. But in other words, don't retro charge. Don't try to shotgun the receiver. That's what happens. Or else you will end up like... Curve stomped. <laughs> well, you know... So, you know, watch it, check your fire, you know, pick your time, shots time. But you know what, I'm gonna see y'all in my sixth video. I like to thank Bullseye, you know, for helping me out with this walkthrough and stuff. Hey, where you at? No so you can take a bite of Way over here the back Okay. All right, then thanks Bullseye for, you know, helping us out and stuff. You know, he's a great friend, you know, check him out. He's a great gear player and also a battlefield player, so you know, with that, uh, see you later, guys. <laughs>